Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's going to be all up my feelings, okay? Um, this is in the time for you guys, okay? It is time to have fun. It is time to celebrate even your smallest achievements, okay? Don't be hard on yourselves, please, okay? Um, this is possibly one of the best full moons of the rest of the year that you are going to have, okay? Um, all those seeds that you planted are coming, kind of going to come in at you, lightning speed. I don't think you're going to expect it, but it's going to happen, okay? Um, what else do you know right now? Make sure you're creative, okay? It is, you know, the fifth house after all. <sighs> Creativity, art, pleasure, and that kind of stuff, anything um, you're happy about, okay? Um, you need to let go of emotional concerns that no longer serve you. My little Krabby Patty. Time to release yourself. Have a new perspective when it comes to things. Um, I will tell you that just build a more beautiful you. Okay, I'm sure you're already beautiful, but beautify yourself a little more. Okay, um, if anything, you're preventing your own creative genius genius from blossoming and, and, and shining through. All right. Um, so when you're building and you're creative, build from the inside, please. Okay, let it come from your soul. Alright. So, um those were kind of just the messages I was feeling. So I think it's important. Um just took all my jewelry off, but you know what? I'm not gonna put it back on. I am not. I am not. Okay. Um so hold on. I put this box up here earlier, but um, when I was doing my video for you guys, but um, I felt like it was just way too much clutter on my desk all of a sudden, so I had to have to get that off. Okay, so there's that. I just saw two, two, two. Let me check the volume. Um, in case I forgot to say welcome, 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 welcome. Let me see if I can fix this real quick. I have a light behind me now that I'm going to have to move, but I don't want to have to do that until later. That's the last thing I'm worried about. Okay, so let's pull on you. I am going to do, um, do I have that many rings on today? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight rings on today. I don't know what that's I don't know what that's all about. Um I couldn't decide which ones to wear. <laughs> We're gonna do the rose spread for you, okay? It's gonna be um the core issue, your past feelings, your attitude type thing, your past actions, your advice, your present how you're presently feeling. Oh my gosh, you can barely remember this. Um where things are heading and your future advice, which for me is within the next two weeks and the rest of November. Okay. My back just started rocking, so I don't know if that means you're carrying too much weight. Okay. Please release if anything needs to be released and let go of. So your core my core issue for my cancerian, okay, is justice. Things are unbalanced in your life right now. Um, that's an issue. So the best advice I can give you is try to try to blend all the energies, all the zodiac energy, okay, to to help in this process. Um, but justice is here at the same time. So what this is saying is something karmically should be justified. To me, you're in denial. Damn. You're straight up in denial when it comes to something. I can feel it. Take the blindfold off. Past feelings and attitude. Past feelings towards the situation or the type of attitude you had towards a situation. Okay. And to me, 
you that the towel. All right, so hi. Speak, child. Speak. You hungry? Hi. Go, go eat. What? Go find something. Find what? This, Justin. Mom, come on. Just find no, something, no, buddy. No. Buddy. Mom, no, mom, this no, is no. going towards. Shut my door, please. This is going towards the future. The way this is going. What, baby? I'll be on about 10 minutes if you don't find something. Your past feeling and your attitude towards it, well, a tower can go either way. But I think you're just thinking more of like, it was just devastating. I mean, look at this right now. Like I, like I said, something was unjustified. Like in the past, to me, this is devastation. Stuff just crashing all around you. Okay, because of certain events or events. Your past action. Is the Ace of Cups. So you were trying to put love into something. I know I wanted that card. The Ten of Cups is to come out in every single read. Everyone is seeking fulfillment right now. I mean, that's beautiful. All right. Um, but from the Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups, like, holy crap. You went from the Ace to the Ten. Like, you've tried for a very long time to try to complete your happiness and it's been nothing but devastation okay um but you've tried so i don't like pitying my zodiacs but i really feel bad for you right now because this is your past action just trying to make the family happy trying to make this household happy you know maybe trying to make a relationship work but all you got was devastation and the issue right now is you feel like something's unjustified, and but you're in denial. So I don't know if you try to get this to work for a very long time. And you need to stop. You need to let it go. It's either that or you want it justified. To me... It's saying you need to let it go. Yes, something unjustified happened. Probably crushing and devastating. You need to let it go. Okay. Good advice. Your advice for this situation for the next two weeks. Your advice. Seven of Pents. Look very carefully what you've invested in. Okay. What it's telling you, though, in all reality, is that what you invested time in is about to grow. It's telling you to invest time. So if it's this situation that they want you to invest time in, I'm now looking at this. This is what I was trying to get at, and I couldn't find the words. They're asking you to invest time in this situation that was unjustified, but you're in denial. I got the goosebumps, so it's tricky because this is what it's saying. Something very unjustified happened. It was devastating. It was crushing. You were just trying to make something right. You were just trying to have a ha happy household. You were in love with somebody. You were just seeking completion, abundance, and it was just everything you tried. It was just tower after tower. It just it didn't work out, and now the Universal advice is to um, what you invested, what seed you planted, they want you to invest in it again. Whether it was work, you gave up on a career, you kept failing at certain tests, that's the scenario push through. If it's a lover, they want you to push through, maybe it just wasn't time. But you're in denial regardless. Okay. This is how you presently feel. Ten of Wands, you're just 
you're exhausted. You feel like battle after battle after battle. You feel like death. You feel like the tower has taken you out. You're just, you're waiting for somebody to just take you out. You're definitely in full of energy. You're carrying a lot of weight. A lot of hurt. A lot of sorrow. Presently, you're carrying, you know, a lot of dark. Um, Guys, pick yourselves up, okay? I don't like this. Sad. Okay. See where this is heading. So right now you feel like time is hitting you left and right, left and right. You know where this is heading. The Seven of Cups, so you're gonna have options. This is the comma card, too. Let me clarify it. But, um, you're gonna have the options you thought you weren't going to have. So, you know, it's like, I don't know what this means to anybody, but birds of a, birds of a feather flock together, or birds of a kind, it's something. Because look at all the black feathers. Now here, she's got the black hair, but she's got the red feather. But with this option, okay, where it's heading, tell me about options. This is, this is, whoa, this is not, oh, come on, this is not confusion. This is, this is not, none of that, okay? This is, you're literally going to have options. You have two sevens side by side, so. All right, you're going to have options, and you don't feel like you have any right now. You feel like. You know, there's a little confusion. All right. So, you got the King of Swords. So, where this is headed right this second is you being confused when it comes to this King of Swords is what it's telling me all of a sudden. You know, you're dealing with somebody who is very domineering, somebody who's very intense. And you're not going to know what direction to go in. This might be the same energy you're working with over here. But this is what's coming your way. Is the King of Swords. It was just 12-12. This King of Swords is going to cause confusion. Okay, but what this is also saying is have this conversation, clear up confusion, choose your options, choose your best route. Okay, advice for the future. That's also open communication too. Is it Three of Cups? It's reconciliation, it's happy times, it's celebrating. Okay, and I just talked about that. All right, I just talked about my Cancerians. It's, it's time to have fun. It's funny I felt that energy. Okay, because yeah, you're not in that energy right now. You're most certainly not. Okay, but it's time. You know, celebrate even your smallest victories. Like I said, okay. The only thing that's really confusing me here is this: where is it heading? But to me, take control. Over your own confusion, over your own life. I have one card for this pile. King of Swords, Seven of Cups. Where is this heading? That's too many. Where is this heading? <clears throat> and that wanted to come out. Ten of Pents. All right, it could be heading to something solid, something stable. Aquarius just had this card, and that is an Aquarius card. Um, so for some, you need to let it go, whatever it is you're harboring. Some of you just need to let go of the situation in general. Others, is they're asking you to invest time in what you put time into before that felt like it just crashed over and over and over and all you did was put your love into it and it was just crash and burn, crash and burn, crash and burn, crash and burn, okay? Not cool. When you feel like this. Okay. It's like how many times you want to burn in the fire. Um, but where it's heading is the stability. If if you choose. Okay. And the best advice is, is to celebrate. To be happy. Even your smallest victories. Okay. Go have fun with your friends. Your family. Your lover. This is on you. Okay. 
get my best advice for my Cancerians. Your dreams need a practical plan. Well, I think you're really thinking about your heart right now and your heart is taking over. So I think practicality is definitely called for. Okay? And it's also a full moon in Taurus. Um, wow, and I opened right to it. That's bizarre. So if this makes no sense to what I just read, that's good because I love when that happens because it's additional messages that clearly I did not pick on. Pick up on. Sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic into something and be more practical. And sometimes you need to find the combination of this two, of the two of them. This card suggests where you are now. You need to use the laws of attraction to draw in what you want. You're imagining it, expecting it, welcoming it, welcoming it. But you need the balance between taking down the earth steps to your goals. This isn't about wishing for the moon and hoping for the best. This is about making something on your list, making bullet points. You know, how do you want to achieve your, dream, your dreams? If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortunes depending on your past actions and what you're expecting and therefore attracting. Hoo-wee! That, that's your advice, too. You need to use law of attraction right now and... You're in denial. You don't want to take the blindfold off. You don't want positive thoughts. You want no positive thoughts when it comes to this person of the past. None. And it's asking you to use the law of attraction, especially with finances or lover right now. And the advice for the future is, is literally you want that foundation. Consider your options. Woo wee, guys. Write down 10 things that you know are wonderful about you. Laziness can expand your current situation, so change it and own it. Chasing money doesn't work. If you need it, chase a dream. Jealousy or envy create negativity and attract negativity. More exercise is also called for. It's time to ground yourself as well. Letting go negative feelings. Whatever you're dealing with, balancing this out, being more passionate, more intense. Money issues can come to a head at this time. You can take this card as a sign to pay more attention to your clash, cash flow matters when you draw it. They want you to use law of manifestation, law of attraction. Imagine it, expect it, welcome it. You're like, nope. Nope, crash and burn, crash and burn, crash and burn. Done that. I'm fucking dead. You want me to do this again? Oh man, guys, I'm sorry. This is rough. Oh, I don't even like this message. I'm gonna keep it real with you. As a reader, you know, it's, it's hard to read ourselves, but we can always resonate to each and every spread because we work with energy. So, you're in a pickle. not about wishing or hoping for the best it, it, it's literally it's your bullet points your dreams are you asking about money this card heralds change your financial fortune upon depending on your past actions and what you're experiencing therefore attracting so currently you know you're carrying a lot of weight currently you know you're not attracting any of this because you're legitimately blindfolded because of the crash and burn crash and burn crash and burn scenario and that's got to be more than frustrating. Okay, tower after tower after tower. You definitely have denial. This is rough, my little Cancerians. Okay, hang in there. Um, please write down 10 things about yourself. Do you understand me? Write down 10 things that you know are wonderful about you. Maybe it can help start getting you motivated. Okay, it's time to have fun again. 
It's time to have fun again. I don't know what to say. I'm in it's rough. What they're asking right now for you to do is um rough. I wish you the best.